I wanted to make some new work with old pieces and um, kind of to, to close this, uh, this link again, you know. There's a collection, Immobile National, pieces exit that collection because they are decommissioned and through this kind of project they enter again and go to up and then from there they will tour again as uh, shelvings and display shelvings. I think um, the world is not a place um, where we every day reinvent the world from nothing, you know. I mean, we have still had this idea, this design throughout maybe the 60s and 70s, maybe even 80s, uh, created a new, a new parallel world, you know, where everything was new and everything was perfect and everything was amazing. But as we know in, in one of the Jacques Tati movies, you know, uh, Mon Oncle, that uh, it's not always so easy, you know. I came in July to have a look at all of the basement and the um, archive. And they gave me a list as well of all the pieces that are going to be decommissioned or sold. All pieces that are going to leave basically the Mobilier National. So I was given this list and um, I did my favorite uh, marks on it. And, um, and from that I, st I started to create a little mental sketch as well, what it could be. So I did make a, um, a sketch more of a conceptual sketch how we could work and but uh, since I'm here we changed that and it became something else and that's also a part of I think uh, my practice initially it was going to be one big piece but then I don't know coming into the church and seeing those pieces that I've you know was finally there physically I realized maybe it was nicer to have more pieces um, with whom I could then create a more of a space, an installation as well. I think that's something maybe that also in this project that I like to make decisions there and then, sometimes very fast, but also the immediate. And maybe that's how also artists work in a way. I mean, they, when they paint, they don't do... They might make a sketch, but they, you know, they also work with instinct and with, uh, yeah, immediacy. And I think I learned a lot through the hundred chairs how to be uh, very fast, very, yeah, spontaneous. There's amazing fabrics in this um, archive here. And I was also given some of uh, the used fabric, some old curtains and some old upholstery fabrics. So yeah, they, they would basically form the, the, the material that uh, covers the shelves. Also next door to the chapel where we work, there is the um, dyeing workshop, the tentier. So I've been trying to get access to and get some pigments and some stain that then we are using to stain the wood. So I, I'm trying to create also some narratives within the mobilier and use what is there and what they're really good at. I'm um, not so interested in conservation, but I'm more interested in um, the notion of what can we learn from what has been done and how can this translate into new, new ideas. And I think it's good to rem know what has been done. I think it's very useful. And I think add, add new ideas to that. I think that I find that interesting. Maybe people maybe can look at things diff in a different way. And uh, especially look at something that maybe, maybe one week ago was still in a storage somewhere, quite sad, you know. Maybe a week later it suddenly transformed into something else. I think they are three-dimensional collages. They're, yeah, patchworks in a way, um, of ideas, of material, of processes, and uh, yeah. For me, it's it's also a little bit challenging. I want to challenge also myself sometimes as a designer. So sometimes it's good if you have some something there that uh, some material or some color or some something also decorative that almost fights your own work, you know. 
I like beautiful objects, you know, and I think there's maybe for, for too many years in design has tried to do the opposite, you know, like don't do decorative work, don't do things that are beautiful, they have to be conceptually strong, they have to be very radical. But I, you know, I like when things are beautifully made and they are nice, and, but maybe the material or the execution is not necessarily conservative in a way, you know. Um, you don't have to go backwards, you know, to make beautiful objects. It doesn't mean that you have to do exactly like it was done, like Louis Kahn's or whatever, you know. It, you know so you, you can challenge as well, I think. For me, this is, has somehow these old pieces, these um, historic pieces sometimes. Uh, they talk about what has been done before and maybe not, not so interesting anymore nowadays as they were. But I think reworking them, I think they become somehow introduced again into contemporaryness. So I like to respond as well. I like to respond to what people have done before. It's a conversation in a way. Yeah.